Okay, so the last thing that you guys are going to do with your projects is kind of um, finish them up, do some finishing touches. So what I mean by that is, um, first off, I am grading you by having a variety of thickness of lines. So some people um, have their projects and it looks very similar to this, where the lines all look pretty much um, the same. There's a little variety. So I'm going to show you guys how to, you know, amp up the variety of lines by making some thick lines. So you're going to need the thicker Sharpie, the one that there's three different types. We have our thin, we have um, medium, and then the thick. So I'm going to take the thickest Sharpie. I'm going to find the tape that I used for the circle since we didn't have a, a tr circle tracer. And I'm actually just going to line it up. As close as I can. And I'm going to use the thick Sharpie to go around that design. And if I didn't get close enough to the edge, I could just take the tip of my Sharpie and go closer. So already it's gonna pop out a little bit more so I could tell that it's popping. So I'm gonna do the same thing at the bottom. I'm not gonna go over this part of the A, I'm gonna go around it. So the A is gonna look like it's overlapping. And I'm going to be careful at the edge not to go over the gold. In this part, I'm going to just do freehand because there's a lot of design over here. Okay, so that's going around the circle. Guys, now I'm going to make some of my actual designs thicker. So I have to decide which lines would look better if they had a thicker quality. So I don't want to put, like if I make these lines thicker, I don't want to also make these lines thicker. I want to have a little bit more balance. So maybe I'll make this section thicker and this section thicker so that it's not all the same. I'm also going to go around and make the four borders thicker. So again, when you guys are tracing with your Sharpie for any of the projects, you're going to want to use a ruler so that it stays nice and straight. Again, I'm using my thick Sharpie. If I want to do that twice, I can, depending, bless you, on how thick you want the border to be. I want to make sure that I keep th these lines parallel to the edge of the paper because I don't want them to be crooked. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that on all four sides. And just a reminder, I'm not going over this cor these corners. I'm leaving those white. So I'm stopping when I get to the edge of my square.
So now I have a much cleaner look to the project, but I'm not done yet. I'm gonna go inside here, make some of these lines thicker so that I have a variety of thickness. I'm gonna be very careful when I get to the bow so that I don't go over the design. And maybe for these, I'll do every other line. So I'll leave this thin and this will be thick. This thin. Thick. Thin. Thick. Thin. Thick, thin, thick, thin. So I'm just skipping one. Okay, these two are too close to this line, so I might just leave it the way that is. And then to unify the sections, I'm actually going to make all the dividing lines thick as well. So I'm done with, oh actually I want to make these thicker so that remember that I have balance. All right, and the I think the A would look better if it was bold.
Okay. So these changes alone could bring your project from a B to an A. The last thing I would do, I do take points off if there's any white spaces showing within the color. So what I would do is grab a variety of colors from our selection. I would also grab a blending tool. So this is a blending pencil, it's colorless. And basically what you do is you just go over your colors and it kind of blends out some of the white space. So let's see, for this section, because it's so light, what I would do is kind of add some more colors to it. I would add purple to make like a gradient of blues and purple. So I'm just gently making circles in the area. We'll go around down here. Go up. Then I'm going to take the light blue and go over the center. And I can do the same thing with the dark blue. I can go over the edge that I went over with the purple. So this is called layering. So you're just layering colors, you're la layering values of color. If I really wanted to make a dark edge, I could actually use like a darker gray or a black in the corners. And I'm not pressing hard, so it's not gonna be completely black. It's just adding a little bit of a gradient. And the last thing I'm gonna do is blend. Okay, so I'm gonna have Alyssa do this in all the sections. We'll do like a before and after photo of the project so that you guys could see how the finishing touches really do make a difference. When you're finished with the project, you're gonna take a photo of it above the project so that all of it can be seen and you're going to upload it to our submission folder on Schoology. And then again, I told you guys this in the beginning, but I'll tell you again, I'm putting all of these in the hallway. So every single student will be in the hallway. All right, good luck. Here's the finished piece. Not yet, but halfway there. Just a few more touches up.